as I mentioned in my last video, our spaghetti squash and watermelon and gourds are really starting to take off and come outside the deck here from our deck garden. And if you can see the spaghetti squash plant, the vegetables are just starting to form. So it's going to get a lot heavier. So what we're going to do today is work on putting up some rope or twine, or I think this is actually called marking string, um, across the deck here to give it a little more support. So what we plan to do is taking it over here. We'll start here on this piece and every 16 inches, we're going to come down and put in four screws and then we'll put the rope across to this with four screws. Take it across here so that the watermelon can also get some support. And then we will wrap it around. That's right, the sun is bright today. Wrap it around this side. Now this large bottle board is doing a great job of going vertically there. I'm sorry, horizontally there across the balusters. Um, but it is going to get big and the gourds are already starting to form. I don't know if you can see that guy there, but he's actually getting quite large. So it's going to put some weight on the plant. So we will also put some string across here to help him. And then I have a loofah gourd down there. And it's small still, but it will get bigger. So we'll put some across there too. So that's our plan for today. Stay tuned and we will show you how we do it. Okay, so here is the after. We've got our string line put up and we've got some of the tendrils pulled over so they can start latching on and getting the support that they need. What we did was just use some zip ties. Let's zoom in here so you can see them hopefully. And just loosely put them around the plant so they still have lots of room to grow. Here's maybe a better shot. So it's two zip ties, one that's secure to the string and then one that's loose around the plant. So you have it exactly where you want it, but the plant can still grow freely without it being inhibited at all by the string. As these continue to come down, you just train them where you want them to go along the trellis. 
and the trellis will give it the added support it needs as the vegetables start to grow and get really heavy. So we've got the spaghetti squash all tied up now. And if you go this way, we've got our watermelon also getting more support that it needs. If you can see right here, we've got a tiny one already forming, so it won't be long before these things are gigantic and need that extra support. And again, you can see the zip tie is very loose around it. And if it does by chance get that big, just easily cut it off and put on a bigger one. So we went all the way around, but these here are still too short to need it. So we're just anticipating for when they do. And then down there at the end, of course, with the loofah gourd. But that in a nutshell is basically how you use string as a trellis for your garden. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe so you get alerted when the next videos are coming out. And I appreciate you watching and can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Bye. Hey everyone. So I thought I would do an update on the string trellis that we put up a couple days ago. I didn't plan on doing an update until I did my weekly walkthrough of the garden for you all, but it's just kind of impressing me what plants will naturally do themselves. So I thought I would give you a quick update. So here it is. So here we're standing behind the trellis under the deck here in the shade. It's so hot today. Uh, but as you can see, we've got our spaghetti squash that are vining down and they are latching on by themselves, giving themselves some support. We've got some just newly coming over and some that have twirled very nicely. If I could get this to focus over that rope there which is very cool. But look at this. So coming from this view, spaghetti squash, all four plants. So you can see all four lines coming down from that plant, oh, which is so cool. They should be able to get a lot of support from that. We'll still keep an eye on them. And then look at the watermelon go. The watermelon, is just coming down quickly, producing fruit quickly now. And again, hopefully this will give it the support it needs. I'll keep updating as the season goes on. But the funny thing also I wanted to show you was here's a watermelon that's coming down. Remember I said we were anticipating this one and it's already met the string now, so it won't be long before it latches on. And then our large bottle gourds were moving horizontally across the balusters there. But now it has come down long enough to actually meet the string. So it should start moving around there. But take a look at that. I mean, he has just grown in just a couple days. It's already the size of my hand. So when they say large gourd, I think they mean it. But then look at this monster, since we're talking about things that are gonna get big. Let me move under here, because I saw this guy as I was watering earlier. So I am in Missouri, and this, my friend, is a walking stick. And this might be the biggest walking stick I've ever seen. If he wasn't so far up there, I'd get him down so you could actually see the size. I could get a better picture, sorry about the movement. But they are just crazy, weird, incredible creatures. Completely harmless, part of the prey mantis family. Uh, but they can sure give you a fright if they just start cl climbing up your leg. So he's just hanging out there underneath the deck. But yeah, so I thought I'd just give you a quick update to go along with this string trellis so you can see what it could be done, how easy it is to put up, and how much support it actually gives your garden. So again, I will be giving you more updates soon. Bye! Bye.